What's up everybody, I'm Lockouts, and in this video I'm going to show you just a real quick way on how to unlock all of your CPU cores. Check this out. Take your mouse and click the button, won't you subscribe to me? Lockouts providing the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind. Alright guys, uh, now that we're over here on my display, what you guys got to do is, there's one of two ways you can do it. You can go right here to the little search bar and you can type in run and that's going to bring up this little box right here. Or you could right click on start and you'll get the run thing right here. So either way, you're going to get the run tab. When you get the run tab, it's going to look like this. When you get run, you're going to type in M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G. That's MS Config, Microsoft Configuration. I'm not going to confuse you anymore. Just type in M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G. And then you're going to click OK. When you click OK, you're going to get this box that pops up and looks like this. You're going to go to the top. You're going to see five different tabs. Click the second one over. It's the boot tab. If you are running on an SSD, run this right here for a fast boot time. Click no GUI boot, no, no GUI boot, no GUI boot, and then put your timeout. Make this three to five seconds. If you are using a revolving spinning hard drive, do not do this, all right? This won't give you any faster of a boot time by doing this. It might actually hurt you. I'm not too sure. Everything that I run is on NVMe and SSDs. So again, I do know that if you're running SSD or NVMe drives, check this box, make your timeout three to five seconds. You'll get faster boot times. Now, the next thing that you want to do, this is for everybody, all users, no matter Intel, AMD, whatever. Click advanced options right here you're going to see number of processors guys make sure that you check this box and then you're going to get this drop down box all right i'm running a ryzen 8 core 16 thread so i have the option to pick 16 if you have like an intel dual core for uh, uh like two core four thread you will only be able to select four so no matter however many the amount of processors it is select them all right the next one over here is going to be maximum memory do not check this box i have 16 gigs this will tell windows to allocate and use all of your ram you do not want to use or tell windows to allocate all of your ram you do however want to tell windows to allocate and use all of your cpu cores for max performance so no matter what video game it is that you're playing what application it is that you're using whatever it is for for, for rendering video no matter what it is you'll get more performance 100 percent by enabling all your cores. Now, once you do this, you're going to then click apply and it's going to ask you to restart your computer. Restart your computer. Boom, all your cores are enabled. I'm Lockouts, baby. Like, follow, subscribe. Peace. Take your mouse and click the button, won't you subscribe to me? Lockouts for bottom, the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind. We're at a time.